14-year-old Matthew Collett Leslie often plays alone. He finds it hard to make friends at school and often gets in trouble because of his behaviour. Both he and his family are convinced he has autism. But in spite of being referred by his school almost a year ago, he won't get a full assessment by his local mental health service in Hastings until the end of next month. And so how does it make you feel then? Do you feel very frustrated? Frustrated, angry, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel that teachers just don't understand you? They, they don't, to be honest, they just don't. And have you tried to explain? I've tried to, but teachers just won't listen to me because I'm not officially diagnosed. His dad says without a diagnosis, Matthew can't access the help he needs. What pressures has this put on your family? Um, each day is quite stressful at home and uh, our life is quite, it is quite stressful at times, yeah. Experts say many families are waiting years for an assessment and children are losing out. They can't get the right education, they may need extra support outside of school, they may need early intervention, early uh, strategies whilst they're very young and, and they're not able to get that without the diagnosis. In a statement, Matthew's local NHS trust said, assessments for autism involve several stages with a number of different professionals because the symptoms are complex and often confused with other conditions. There has also been a significant rise in the number of referrals to us, which has added to the pressures on our services. Matthew has now started an online petition to cut waiting times and is hoping to get 10,000 signatures. What will you do once you get that? Uh, take it to 10 Downing Street, hand it in personally. So you're really determined with this yeah, campaign, aren't you? definitely. You really want to make a difference? Yeah. After more than a year, Matthew will be assessed next month. And if he is diagnosed with autism, his family hope he can finally get the help he needs. Leila Hayes, 5 News.